The movie Limitless uh, is one of those examples of something we all kind of want to be. All right, so in the movie, if you haven't seen it, by the way, I'll link to a trailer down below in the description. But basically the movie is about this guy who he's kind of struggling to succeed in his own life and he finds a guy who can give him this magic pill. Okay, uh, I think it's called NZT48 or something like that. And this pill enables him to do incredible things with his mind. It basically unlocks his mind and he's able to learn skills rapidly, really quickly increase his confidence, go and do these crazy things, you know, make a lot of money stock trading, uh, learn skills, languages uh, almost overnight. And it sparked the interest in a subject called nootropics, which is the idea of a smart drug or a smart uh, kind of thing, a uh, smart substance that you can take that will improve the way your brain works. So the question is, how can you become limitless like in the movie in real life? How can you become limitless in real life without needing to use some kind of crazy supplement or drug like the one in the film? So I'm going to come at this from two different ways. Okay, so the first way is natural personal development and natural old school personal growth techniques. And I'll get into that in a second. And then the other way is what we have, uh, what we call biohacking and um, kind of optimizing yourself as a human, both in your brain and in your body. So I'm going to take these one by one. I'll try and be as concise as I can. Leave any comments down below about how you think you can become limitless or your best kind of technique or way to do that. So firstly, the old school personal growth method. You need to basically, because there's lots of personal growth techniques, uh, lucid dreaming is just one tool you can use to become limitless and unlock these abilities within you. We all have these abilities, okay? The ability to learn things much quicker than the average person, the ability to improve yourself to learn new skills, to grow and achieve and basically change your life rapidly. We all have these abilities and this potential, but the question is why don't we use them? And there's a number of different reasons for that. Okay, so the first one is that we're kind of trapped in our, um, the patterns and circuits in our brain that have been wired together. So everything that you experience in your life right now is kind of like your, your habits, your default state. So let's say you come in from work and you turn on the TV or you check your emails, or these are kind of habits that have been ingrained into your brain so that they are very easy to do. Compare that to say a, a billionaire or like somebody who's really hyper successful, hyper productive, and they constantly grow and improve. Their habits and their daily routine will look very different to the average person because they've decided to make those their habit. They've decided to wake up at 5 a.m. and then go for a run and then read something. And then they've built up this routine to the point where it's actually easy for them to become limitless and to continue being successful because they've made it a routine, they've made it their habits. So the first way you can become limitless in real life is actually to create a routine and a set of habits that will get you that result. The fastest way of doing that is just to study what the most successful people in the world are already doing. And most of them tend to wake up early, they tend to meditate, they tend to set and write out specific goals, move towards them every day, delegate things that are monotonous or take lots of time and focus on high level decisions that will bring the biggest impact to them and the world. There's obviously a number of other things they do like, you know, uh, they might exercise, they might read, they might spend time um, kind of turning off and discharging uh, from work. That's what the most effective people do. So the first no brainer kind of low hanging fruit that you uh, want to focus on if you want to become limitless is just to do those things, just to adopt the, the routine of a millionaire, or not even a millionaire, but adopt the routine of somebody who's successful in whatever that means to you. Old school personal development techniques, okay? So meditation, you know, setting goals, removing bad habits, uh, creating good habits, working on your goals every day, and writing in a journal. These are like the, the basics, right? And then you have the optimization side. So this is where we start thinking, what is the most efficient, healthy, and energy giving diet or habits and lifestyle that you can have? Well, it's pretty obvious that you shouldn't be smoking. You shouldn't really be drinking too much. Uh, you shouldn't be drinking, I would say more than one or two cups of coffee per day. And these are kind of things that have been agreed across the board. This is what we know. <laughs> this is like m many different studies, you know, meta studies, um, thousands of years of history. We, we know these things, right? Smoking is bad for us. Drinking is bad for us, right? Eating lots of salt, saturated fat, higher levels of sugar, these things are bad for us. So straight away, you, you can just try and move towards giving up those things that are bad for you because you know they're not contributing to you becoming limitless. So it's kind of a no-brainer. We know that most people, there are some exceptions, uh, perform and are more productive uh, in a clean and tidy and organized environment. So that's why in the film Limitless, you see one of the first things he does 
is he tidies up his apartment. He organizes everything, he removes everything he doesn't need. And, you know, there's a reason for that. It's a good way of, it's kind of cathartic, it's a good way of removing stress and uh, chaos from your mind, even at a subconscious level. So this is like the absolute basics, right? Stop doing and eating the things that are bad for you and instead eat the things that are good for you, right? Eat more veg, fresh fruit, veg, nuts, seeds, fruits, uh, legumes, um, things that will give you nutrition and energy instead of taking it away from you and making you feel lethargic and slow. This is the absolute basics, right? And alongside that, you have your sleep. One of the, I would say the most important thing, because you can go without food for weeks at a time. Your sleep is really important. So focus on your sleep at the same time as improving your diet. This is again, the basics, right? Easiest ways to improve your sleep is to kind of, and this is gonna be like an information dump. This one video, hopefully I'll reference back to this one in the future, because this is like, the most effective things and tips I'm giving you here. To improve your sleep, okay, don't eat any meals four hours before trying to sleep. Don't look at any screens two hours before trying to sleep. If you want a real boost, okay, you can have either a cold shower or like a lukewarm kind of bath before trying to go to bed. There are lots of natural sleep aids and supplements you can take. I'll try and link to the one I take in the description. And also meditating just before going to sleep will do wonders for you, okay? So these are kind of the basics, right? Sleep, it's important. So important actually that I track it using an aura ring. I don't have any affiliate link or partnership with them. I'm just showing you this because I genuinely use this. It's got like three different sensors in here. Um, they don't even have an affiliate program, so I, I'm not getting paid to say that. Okay, I just, I enjoy this product. I use it to track my sleep, very useful. But your sleep's important, okay? So we've spoken about diet, okay? Eat more fresh plant-based foods. Try and give up the things that are bad for you. Basic stuff, right? Meditate more, drink more water improve your sleep, and then you have kind of the level above that. So you wanna focus on your the social aspect of your life, and this means n stopping talking to people who are negative and bad for you and bringing you down. People who don't really believe in you, who, whatever, they criticize you, uh, haters, whatever you, <laughs> whatever you wanna call these people. Um, and then instead, spend more time with the people who inspire you, who, have, who are doing more than you, um, and who are where you want to be the people you want to be like, not the people that are on your same level or below. You wanna always spend more time with people who are slightly above where you want to be because you will then bring yourself up to match them and create an average. Next, you wanna immerse yourself in positive and motivational messages and accounts and people and content, okay? So, uh, and I've, I've been saying this for months, probably years actually, turn off the news, turn off the mainstream media, it's full of lies anyway, now more than ever, uh, but you that's just bringing you down. They, they literally profit from making you fearful. So that's one of the biggest and easiest ways to make yourself happier and feel better is just to turn it off. Now above that, you have what I like to call kind of success hacks. All right, so we've spoken about the foundations. Now there are some things you can do if you wanna become limitless, right? I'm gonna get onto how you can use lucid dreaming to do that too. That's just kind of like a bonus tool. You want to learn actually how to learn most effectively. This is known as meta learning. And it's the idea that most people don't learn how to learn. They just try and, you know, take in information and repeat it. This is a bad idea. So the most effective way of learning is to involve all of your senses, if you can, as many as you possibly can, at the same time, spaced repetition, Okay, so there's different SRS systems you can use. I like to use Anki, A-N-K-I, uh, because if you compare the results with somebody who crams everything into one hour or somebody who spends, let's say, 10 minutes uh, six times a week, the person who spaces it out is gonna do much better, even if they spend less total time studying because it's spaced out over time, it actually helps you to learn it instead of just cramming it in and then you forget it the next day. So an SRS system will help you to learn things more effectively. As I said, Anki is a good one. Now, what would becoming limitless mean if you weren't able to focus and actually produce things? One of the main things he does in the movie is actually to produce things. He writes a book, okay? He creates stock trading deals. He creates partnerships with people and business connections, right? He produces things. He needs to be able to focus to do that. So how can you focus more effectively? Well, you could use a nootropic. Now, I'm not gonna to spend too much time talking about this because I said I wouldn't, uh, but a nootropic is basically like a cognitive enhancer, a smart drug, a supplement you can take that will improve the way your brain works, even just temporarily. The ones I like to use are OptiNeuro, MindLab Pro, Siltep, 
and uh, a couple of other ones as well. If you're a complete beginner, just start with something really simple like caffeine mixed with L-theanine. So if you like a cup of coffee, just take L-theanine. Okay, and it's going to make the effect of caffeine last longer without the jitters, without the crash, and without the dependency. It's going to spread the effect out over the day instead of just the first two hours. There are a number of different supplements and nootropics I, I take. Uh, I'll link to some of my favorites in the description, but you want to kind of give your brain a boost. You want to give your brain a boost, okay? But before you do that, you need to be taking a multivitamin and at least something, you know, basic like an omega-369 capsule. Okay, our brains literally function um, at their best when they have a, the right amount of fatty acids. Okay, uh, and if you're plant-based like I am, um, you can't easily get this from your food unless you want to have loads of ground up flax seeds and things like that. So I take a supplement for that uh, as well as a vitamin B12 supplement. So definitely look into that. And then beyond that, you can do things like listening to binaural beats. These are kind of sound waves that, I've spoken about these before. Uh, they help to get your brainwave frequency into a certain level, to a certain place. And you can use these to achieve different things, right? Get into different states. Uh, you can get into the right frame of mind to lucid dream, for example. You could listen to something called brain.fm. Very important, uh, very useful sound wave to help you focus. It's actually based on research across thousands of different people, so they know it works. When you're actually working, so uh, when you're trying to produce something, study or work or whatever, um, I like to use a standing desk. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So over there you can see I have a mini kind of standing desk, um, which enables me to focus better because the blood flow to my brain is increased because I'm literally standing up as opposed to sitting down and slouching over a chair. You'll also notice um, as well, I have this, which is a Berkeley water filter. So this is the idea, it's based around the idea that your water is one of the most important, if not the most important thing that you ingest. Probably more important than your food because you drink so much water, you drink water every day and we're made up of almost entirely water. So if you're drinking tap water, very bad, okay? It's full of chemicals and heavy metals and fluoride and all kinds of dangerous things. You really don't wanna be drinking tap water uh, unless you live somewhere like Bulgaria or you know Bansko uh, where they have really high quality natural spring water. But most places in the world, most places in developed countries and civilizations, the tap water is not good. Okay, it's really bad for you. So, and they don't tell you that, but you can get a Berkeley filter pretty cheaply on Amazon uh, or online, and that will filter out all of those impurities and give you clean, fresh water. I would consider those things the absolute basics for becoming limitless. Now, I could go on for hours about this. There's so many different hacks and tips and you know mind techniques and all kinds of things you can use to become more productive, increase your energy, feel better, and get more done. Those are the basics. Now, I just want to finish by saying, like, why, why would you care about that? Why wouldn't you just be average? Why would you need to become what I call limitless? Why do you need to do any of that? Well, firstly, anything you're trying to do, literally anything, whether, whether it's studying for an exam, you know, your job, work, what you do for, to earn money, um, whatever you're trying to learn in your free time, any of that is made easier uh, by doing all of those things. So it will literally help every aspect of your life, even if you don't care about what I'm about to talk about, even if you just want to purely, you just want to earn more money, focus or learn things faster or have more energy and feel better. I don't know anyone who doesn't want to do those things. Now, the second part of this is to do with your purpose. And this is where we get a bit more spiritual, which is the direction I want to take this channel. And that is that now more than ever, we need to be stepping into our purpose. Okay, so I and many others believe that we are here on Earth for a specific reason. This is not an accident, this is not random. Uh, we have had many lives before, and this is part of a bigger picture. But we are here now for a specific reason to fulfill a specific purpose. Now, what that purpose is, is different for everyone. But by doing those things that I mentioned, by tuning your body, think of your body like an instrument, by tuning your body, you know, improving your sleep, meditating, raising your vibration and energy, feeling better, eating better foods. I don't know anyone that would disagree with me about this. I don't know anyone that would say, actually, no, you should be eating junk food and sleeping worse and smoking. No, of course you shouldn't. Nobody with their brain turned on would disagree with me about what I'm saying here. The reason that you should do all of those things and improve yourself, even at a basic level, even at the most foundational level, is because by doing that, you allow your body, you, you allow your intuition to open up so you can actually notice things and this is what lucid dreaming is all about, is being more aware of what's going on around you and being more intuitive about what's actually happening. Instead of using your kind of 
completely logical brain and that's all you use. By doing these things, you open up your intuition, which allows you to connect to a higher power, a higher source of information. The way that's done is through the chakra system, through the pineal gland, which is in most cases uh, calcified. Most people's pineal glands are blocked. But doing those things opens the pineal gland up and allows you to receive information into your brain and into your mind so that you can actually get downloads and understand better what you should be doing here on earth in this lifetime, what your purpose could be. Now that's a completely different discussion, a different topic. I do actually have uh, several videos about the pineal gland on my channel. I have all kinds of things that I've said about this. Um, if you are interested in that, leave a comment or upvote a comment so I can see that and I'll make more videos about that in the future. This video is almost 20 minutes now, so it's gone on long enough. But even if you don't care about what I just mentioned about the purpose, about uh, ascension, humanity awakening, that kind of stuff, even if you don't care about that, doing everything I've mentioned in this video will improve your energy, you will feel better, you'll be able to focus more clearly, and you'll be able to be more efficient and productive at whatever you're trying to do, which will directly translate to you earning more money, to you being more successful, and to you feeling more accomplished and well-rounded. So hopefully, uh, if you've been listening this far, you kind of agree with all of that, and you're ready to get started, and you're gonna try and do those things. So I'd love to hear what you think, leave a comment and check out my other videos. I'll see you next time.